this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am playing another round of Hunger Games, and you can get a, uh, a little glimpse of the map down there. No spoilers. I've not actually looked at this map properly, uh, so it's going to be a, a surprise for me, but it's a, a Disney Pixar themed map. And I think, is this the rules over here? Oh, these are all the, uh, the people that help build the map. Uh, so a big shout out to all of them and a big thank you uh, for helping build the map so we can play it. And here is one of the uh, the map builders right there. That is MZ, who's one of the people that helped build the map. And uh, here we go. So uh, Disney Pixar Hunger Games. Uh, these are some of the, the main builders. So a big shout out uh, to all of them. Uh, hello, Lee. How you doing down there? You okay? Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. <laughs> anyway, over here, we have another sign, which is... Uh, oh, these are the rules. Uh, oh, there are four secret chests throughout the map. Uh, try your best to find them. Uh, load in plastic texture pack. I believe I've done that. Yes. Uh, don't break any blocks. One minute grace period. Exit the world upon death. And I think there's one last group of signs over here, which says... Oh, what does this lever do? Um, oh, I think it does the, the little lights up and down there. And uh, awesome, blah, 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 blah. Oh, these are like some reviews that people have done. <laughs> this map is amazing. Awesome job. Shout out to Gunshot. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's go and begin then. I should probably say uh, who I'm going to be joined by. Sadly, I'm not hungry, so I can't eat any of this cake. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be joined by uh, Daisy, Alpha Lee, Longshot, Line Maker, MZ, Phoenix, and Longbow. So let's begin in three, two, one, go. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got lifted up. Oh, okay. I guess we don't drop. I guess we don't drop. I guess we run into the middle. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that was an exciting start. So it looks like we got the um I think this is a uh, Monster Zinc this side over here and I can see oh there's a chest down here. Let me go and try and grab this one as quick as I can. So as I said we got a, a 1 minute grace period I think. So I should be fine. I, I can't even bother to get that <laughs> to get that uh, wooden axe. That's not going to help me too much. Oh there's another little hidden chest down here. We go. I got a bow. That's uh, pretty handy and I might as well put my armor on now before I forget. So I got a bow and one arrow. That's all I've got to defend myself, but I guess it will do for now. And I want to find some of the, the hidden chests if I can. Uh, I got a pickaxe. I think that might be slightly stronger than my fist. So I think, I think is a pickaxe, a stone pickaxe the same as a wooden sword maybe? And look at that massive sully. Like I want to have a tour around the map and have a, a decent chance to look at everything, but I also uh, don't want to get taken out. So I'm going to have to try and uh, get suited and booted, uh, try and get as much armor and things as I can, and then I can go and start trying to hunt people down. And looks like I can go stampy style. I got myself uh, some iron booties there, so they're going to uh, at least protect my feet, <laughs> if uh, if nothing else. Uh, so let's go and try and find some more. i got to be able to climb up here somehow. Oh, do you reckon this is parkour here? Do you reckon I can jump up those dirt blocks? I'm not sure. It looks uh, a little bit too difficult to jump up. And are there any hidden chests behind here it says there's four hidden chests and i know the uh, the map is split up into four quarters so my uh, educated guess would be uh, that there's one hidden chest in each of the the four corners and look at the the massive door there this map looks absolutely amazing if anything i'm a bit annoyed that i'm playing hunger games on it rather than just looking around it to be honest <laughs> so i don't want people to be going after me while i'm trying to look at it but i got some cobwebs and uh, a potion of healing which could help me out so i got uh, an iron ingot as well so if I manage to grab another iron ingot, because I've got a stick, uh, I could actually try making myself an iron sword. And oh look, some iron leggings, uh, another uh, ender pearl. I'm getting, I'm getting pretty decent stuff here. I just want to make sure I don't get uh, snuck up on. I got loads of really good things for my bottom half, uh, but nothing good for the, the top half. But uh, the thing I'm really going for now is just trying to get one more iron ingot, because then once I make my iron sword, uh, then I'll be, yeah, then I'll be a lot stronger. Oh, looks like I can go up through here. Watch out for them ghastly grasshoppers. Ah, I think we might be going into Bugs Life uh, area, uh, which is uh, the second film that Disney Pixar ever made. And whoa, look at that. What a massive transformation already. And oh, look, someone down there, they've already got a better sword. Oh, but look, here we go. I got my second iron ingot. Right, let's go back, run down to where I was, because there was crafting tables all over the place down there. And let's try and make myself an iron sword if I can. Right, let's go over here. No one's following me, are they? I think we are safe. Oh, I can hear, I can hear someone splashing a potion through the wall. And let's go and try and make myself an iron sword. Here we go. Now things are looking better for me. Iron sword in hand. And oh, is there a little chest down here? Have I looked in this one yet? 
Oh, look, there's a stone sword in that one as well. <laughs> that would have been handy about five seconds ago until I made my iron sword. Anyway, let's go back into to Bug's Life territory. I want to try and uh, at least for a little bit visit uh, all four quarters so I can see what the, the different styles are. And uh, let's go and try and make my way around here. Do you reckon there's going to be a chest up here somewhere? Well, I think, there, oh, I think there's some ladders there. If I jump up around here, Alp. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. You're going to have to watch me doing parkour. <laughs> you know how this normally goes. Oh, that was quite good. I just about managed to get up there and I'm climbing up on top of... I don't even know what I'm top of, uh, on top of here, to be honest. Uh, I want to make sure no one's sneaking up behind me. I can't see anyone else in this quarter. I'm looking out as good as I can, but I can't find anyone. I got some uh, bottles of enchanting, uh, which can be uh, pretty handy. I might as well just uh, splash them now. And so if I do get an opportunity to enchant my iron sword, uh, that could uh, help me out big time. And I'm also going to grab my golden apple. Uh, so if I get her, I can eat that to get a little bit of uh, extra regeneration. Anyway, let's go and try and make my way back down. And let's go and uh, try and make my way to one of the other corners. I know uh, one of the other quarters is a uh, Toy Story. Uh, I know I got a, a glimpse of that. Uh, but I'm not sure what the final was is, one is. And I saw someone in my quarter. In my quarter. There was someone over there somewhere. So I want to be careful. Let's just see if I can go in. Look, they've got a helmet and uh, a chest plate. And uh, I've said no teaming up. So they can't try and team up with me. But if I'm good, I might be able to track them down. I believe uh, that might be long shot. And who is trying to put a cobweb down to trap me? And he actually did. He actually managed to trap me in a cobweb. I almost never see that actually working. And he's scared. He's seen my iron sword. And oh, don't run back to this quarter. I've seen this quarter. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to have to try and be sneaky. Gamer tags are off. So I got a good chance to try and sneak round. And he might not know where I'm coming at him from. Right, I don't know where he is either. I think he's round here somewhere. Let's make sure he doesn't end up sneaking up on me, because uh, I haven't got much better stuff. And oh look, there was someone there. Someone else poked around that corner for a second. Right, let's make sure I don't get snuck on behind me. I think I'm catching up with him here. I think I'm able to catch up with him. And there we go. We're now in Toy Story territory, and there's loads of people all over the place around here. I'm a little bit worried about running out right into the middle. I don't want to get snuck up on. And I think he's there running away. He ended up held up there. But I think there was someone else up there as well. And look, oh, there's loads of people here. Right, let's just get out of this quarter for a while. Look at Woody. Look at Woody up there on top of the dresser. <laughs> right, let's just leave this area for a bit. Because there's quite a lot of people in there. I can let them all try and take each other out. And let's go into the final quarter. And I know which one this is. This looks like Finding Nemo. Looks like we're now under the sea. And here's someone for me to go after. They're all running away from me. Why are they all scared? I think this one has swiftness. Oh, did they not see me? I don't think Daisy saw me. I don't think she was running away from me. I think she was just running around anyway and look look how much stuff she had she had like almost everything right there we go i have now got loads more loot let's just try and hide somewhere where no one's gonna see me and then I can go and put all of this extra armor on. I think I saw like a, a poison potion and all sorts there. I think she had some great stuff. So uh, let's go and try and get somewhere safe. Let's go inside of this massive chest here under the water and try and gear up if we can. Oh, look, it's full of gold. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> right. If I go and oh, look, oh, no, there's someone in here. There's someone right in here. Right, I can go and catch them. I can catch them. They've not even got their sword out. I don't even know if they have a sword. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. <laughs> oh, they splashed with something. They splashed with swiftness. They're trying to run away. I might be able to get a good shot on them. Big shot. Oh. Ooh, I hit them. I hit them one more big shot. No, okay. They've got away. There's no way I'm going to be able to, to catch up with them. That terrified me, though. I didn't think there's going to be anyone else in here. Right, what have we got? I can put, oh, I put a gold chest plate on. Uh, does he have a helmet at all? There we go. I've got a leather helmet, which is better than nothing. I've got a, uh, a potion of poison and uh, another potion of healing. Uh, so let me go and put all of my all of my sword and bows and stuff together. So here we go. I've got some uh, pretty dandy stuff now, to be honest. I'm not looking too bad. And Lion... Uh, oh, a long shot was slain by Lion Maker by the, uh, by the looks of things. Let's empty out my pockets a little bit. Uh, I don't need this many things. And I've also got another two iron ingots. And uh, if I get two more, I could even try uh, crafting some more iron things. Actually, I think I need five to make an iron helmet, uh, which would be uh, pretty useful. Right, but let's go and have a, a little bit more of an explore around this area. Look, there's a little chest down here. Most of these chests have probably been looted now, though, to be honest. I reckon uh, that most of these are going to be empty uh, just because the game's been going around for so long. So it, got to the, it gets to the point where almost everything's already taken and it's more about fighting rather than gathering things. So let's just go and uh, empty out my pockets a bit more. Uh, so that way, if I do run into someone, uh, then that way I can just uh, focus on uh, picking up all of their stuff. And, uh, yeah, not worrying about it too much. So, there we go. Let's empty out some of those things here. Let's go and have a quick look in this chest. See if there's anything in there. No, nothing particularly useful. Uh, another little chest down here. Going to be anything good? Oh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Right, forget the chest. Forget the chest. Right, I got my, my uh, potion of poison at hand. 
Uh, so if they charge me down, I can try poisoning them. I could try jumping up here, I guess. And then I could try and get the high ground, which might uh, give me a big advantage. Oh, look, they, they went up here as well. They had the same fort as me. I think they're they're waiting behind that corner somewhere. Oh, look, they've just enderpearled. Where, where are they going to land? Keep an eye out for them. Right, I'm not sure where they landed. Oh, they're down there. I reckon that enderpearl hurt, hurt them. Let's go after them. I believe that is Longbow. So let's go and try and take him out. Longbow's kind of sneaky, though. I know what he's like. So be prepared for an ambush. Here he is hiding behind here. Do you reckon he's going to try and ender pearl again? Oh, he tried to splash me with poison. He had the same thought as me, as I guess. And oh, look, he almost snuck away then. I just caught him in the corner of my eyes. I reckon he's hiding behind here somewhere. Oh, he's trying, trying to punch me. I don't even know if he's got a sword. <laughs> I'm stuck. It's like I'm stuck in a cobweb, I think that was there. Right, there we go. I had a, a healing potion that got my health back up. Now I can go and try and charge him down. He's got to be so weak. He's only got a stone sword. I've almost got full hearts as well. Try and shoot him back with an arrow and go and try and finish him off. He's got to be so weak. How is he still alive? He's got good armor. I guess so that's how he's uh, staying alive I guess and I'm not getting snuck on him I know okay he's got to be so weak now though I think is he running away no he's still going after me he's still going after me how long is this fight gonna go long for <laughs> how is he still alive how is he honestly still alive have we got any more bows there we go if I try and hit him that was my final arrow there I think right let's go charge him in then I can't believe how long he's been able to, to stay alive from this has been crazy right let's go and use just use the poison potion I was trying to save it uh, but seeing how long is he's taking to get killed I might have to use that no no he's hitting me from so far away that was crazy right let's have the the golden apple and try and get my health back up and then let's go back after him i think he's running around this way i can hear him uh, here just getting hurt i think oh there he is there he is go after him go after him get 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 him there we go finally <laughs> after all that time i was finally <laughs> able to take him down that was quite an epic battle there wasn't it all right let's go once again go and hide somewhere and let's see what goodies longbow were hiding is there anything good uh, i think i can put this on He's got some uh, some enchanted leggings down there. I don't know if there's uh, if they're going to be better than what I have already. Let's get some pork chops in case I need to uh, get my hunger up at all. I think um I think I'm going to be good though. Right, let's go and see uh, who else we're going to be able to to track down. Then let's go back into Toy Story Town. Then this seemed to be uh, where most people were hanging out. Let's just see. There are quite a few people left actually. I didn't know how many people were left. And look, there's all stuff underneath the the bed. Oh, it's all messy under the bed. And oh look, do you see that? I turned around and I just saw a little head poke up who is hiding in the flower pot come on who's pretending to be a flower <laughs> are they stuck in there is there any way for them to get out is there any way for me to to get in and oh look i actually think i've got a, a better chest plate here this might be a bit of a dangerous time to do it but let me try and put the uh, there we go i've got a, a better chest plate on there that might actually help me out and i think there's someone up in here but i have no idea how i get in there are they still up in there? Are they, is there going to be another little head poking out? Right, maybe I need to climb up on this dresser up here or something and then uh, try and jump in. Once again, it's probably not worth me um, uh, looking in these chests because it's probably all taken. What does this say? Keep fighting, soldiers. This should help you on your journey. Oh, look, there they are. I saw their legs. I saw their legs. I don't think they know where I am. Here we go. Hello, MV. Surprise. Stampy Cat's here. Surprise. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, they got a sword. Oh, they did have an iron sword there. That was actually a little bit more dangerous than I, than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's go once again pick up all of their things. Oh, look, more iron down there. Uh, some bottles of enchanting. Oh, look, I can see people fighting in the distance over there right what i want to do is um try and get my levels up then i want to try and find an enchantment table because if i manage to enchant my sword uh, then i think uh, then i'm gonna almost definitely win so i got two iron swords i got another healing potion here and uh, oh i got andy's front teeth what what are, what are these what are these are these snowballs do they do knockback or something? <laughs> they are weird. I have no idea what those things uh, actually are. Uh, I don't think I got anything else good from that fight, though. Uh, so, well, I got a healing potion, which is okay. And I managed to get my levels up. So I've got four levels now. So uh, I should be able to get a relatively decent enchantment. And uh, there's only three of us left. It's me, Lion Maker, and Lee Bear left. And is someone on fire? Was it? Did, was I see that? I think someone was in fire in the middle. Oh look, Lee's here fight. Oh look, they're fighting each other. All right, let's let let's let them get each other weak. Then I can try and run in and try and finish them off if I can. All right, looks like Lee's really weak over here. I can go and try and if I go after Lion Maker, I don't think he's ready for me here. Right, if I can go charge him down, I want to make sure I don't get stuck in the middle. Oh no, he set me on fire. I need to jump in the water if I can. I can see why Lee decided to run away. I think he's managed to enchant his sword, I believe. Right, I'm gonna try and end a pearl away if I can. Right, there we go. I managed to end a pearl away. Now I just need to run. Now I just need to run. Another big Ender pearl, another big ender pearl. Is he chasing me? I don't know if he is or not. Oh, I don't know where I've landed. <laughs> that was dangerous, right? Keep running, keep running, keep running. Right. 
It looks like Lion Maker is going to be the cat to beat. He seems to have the best stuff. So uh, what I'm going to try and do is not technically team up with Lee because you're not allowed to team up. But if I kind of see Lee and Lion Maker fighting, I might kind of help out Lee a bit, try and take out Lion Maker, possibly steal his sword would be lovely. <laughs> and then maybe try and go after Lee uh, for the final fight. He had like a fire aspect sword, which was rather deadly. All right, let's once again go and try and empty some of my stuff here. So if I am uh, able to pick up a bunch of stuff, uh, then I will actually be able to, to pick all the stuff up. So there we go. I've managed to go and uh, put everything away in there. And now let's go and uh, try and track down uh, where everyone else is. I don't want to get ambushed. I don't want to be surprised. I want to make sure I see them first. But what I also want to do is try and find that enchantment table. I don't think... was the, There wasn't one in the middle. There's just that water in the middle, isn't there? And I'm kind of scared to go back here, to be honest, because I know Line Maker was somewhere around there. Actually, is there, is there ladders around here? Oh, look, Lee was slain by Line Maker. And here's Line Maker here. I don't think he knows I'm here. I might have a chance to be able to go and surprise him here. There we go. I got a few good early hits on him. Can I get him? He set me on fire. I'm just going to keep charging in. I've got no option but to keep running. Just keep running at him. Keep running at him. Keep running at him. And there we go. I managed to do it. I managed to take him out. He had the better things, but I had the element of surprise. And I was able to win. I managed to take out everyone. Well, I didn't take everyone out, but <laughs> none of them took me out. And so there we go. I've managed to, to win this round of Hunger Games, but I don't want to end the video quite yet. What I am going to do is, uh, how do I set myself to fly? There we go. I can turn myself uh, to fly mode, and I want to just fly over this map because I didn't get to see everything, and I want you uh, to get a good chance. You can see there's Mr. Potato Head. There's Buzz Lightyear down there. And look, you can see... um. Uh, he's even got the little top shelf here with that little wheezy penguin. I can't remember his name and the binoculars. And is this the hidden chest? Congratulations, you found hidden chest number three. Oh, I think maybe that's where Lion Maker got that sword. It's actually looted. Someone made their way their entire way up that parkour. <laughs> anyway, there's uh, the window here that you can look out. There's one of the army men with a parachute. Uh, there's some of um, Miss Bo Peep's uh, sheep down there. <laughs> and uh, there's one of the, the aliens that go, oh. And so down here, uh, we're going back into to finding Nemo land and look at this place this place is so cool <laughs> you can see all the characters up on the side there and there's the sharks and the the hammerhead shark there there's the the massive chest of gold that I went into earlier and uh, now let's go and switch around and we are now back in Monsters Inc land and look at that Sully that Sully is absolutely amazing and huge and I think I found the next hidden chest <laughs> hidden chest number one whoa yeah look a sword with fire aspect I reckon that a uh, uh, lion maker was able to to find the uh, the the chest on the the top of that uh, shelf in the Toy Story side and look how cool is that <laughs> that is absolutely amazing and I also want to go and have a quick hop uh, into Bug Life Land and so uh, here we go this is what it all looks like from above and where do you reckon the hidden chest is do you reckon it's all the way up here do you reckon you can even get up here. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I reckon there's a hidden chest up here. Uh, hidden chest number four. And, oh, it's got a, a golden apple and uh, amazing things here. Hard hornet hat, ants pants, slimy snail sneakers, and beetles body armor. <laughs> How would you get all the way up here? That would You would spend your entire game just trying to get to the top and then the rest of the game trying to get back down. All right, well, I want to see if I can find the, the Monsters, Inc. one now. I think I found all of the chests apart from one. So let me go and see if I can uh, quickly find that before the end of the video. Oh, nope, nope. That's not where I meant to go. I'm getting confused here. Uh, where's the where's the the crossroads? I've got I've got lost around here. Is it that corner? Not that corner. It's got to be down here. Then here we go. Uh, so let me go through here into uh, Monsters Inc. again. And let's try and find that hidden chest. Is it on Sully's head? Uh, is that the one I already looked in? Actually, yeah, I've already looked in that one. And so it's the it's the Finding Nemo one that I haven't uh, found yet. And the Finding Nemo area is here. And where do you reckon it is? Do you reckon it's on Nemo's head? Um, I can't see it on the... Oh, is it in here? Is this where a chest is? Nope, I think that's just a, a little bit of a, a hole. I can't even find the hidden chest and I'm flying around. <laughs> and I have no chance of getting it uh, in a game. It's normally somewhere high up. Not on the turtle. Oh, up here. Is this where it is? Oh, there is a hidden chest up here. I don't think that that is a special one. Oh, it had an, uh, an enchanted bow in it, though. And oh, there's a chest up on here. Uh, that's got an iron sword in it. Oh, look, there are ladders leading up here. And so where would you go to? And there's all ladders leading all the way up here? Really? Oh, up here. I didn't even see this up here. <laughs> this massive stingray. And here we go. Hidden chest number two. And inside, uh, there's an amazing uh, enchanted bow. So there we go. This is the, the Disney Pixar map. Uh, in the description, I'm going to leave a link to uh, the download of the map. Uh, if you want to download it and uh, play on it uh, for yourself, 
uh, as well as the uh, the channel of some of the the builders of the map if you want to go and uh, check out some of their other maps and other videos and also there's going to be a link to everyone else who I was playing with uh, I know some of the other people that were playing were recording as well and so if you want to go and see the game from their view uh, you can go and check that out uh, once this video is finished uh, but most importantly I want to thank all of you uh, very much for spending your last 20 minutes with me uh, in this Hunger Games map so thanks for watching and I will see you all later.